In this lesson, I'm gonna show you the seven modes of melodic minor on the guitar. I'll show you how to start playing with these modes, and I'll tell you what chords each of the melodic minor modes are typically played over and why. Learning the melodic minor scale on guitar can be a little weird at first if you're not used to it. If you haven't encountered this scale before, then you can also check out my video on mapping out the five scale form positions of the melodic minor scale on the guitar. But even if you don't know this scale yet, this video should be really cool on its own about the modes of melodic minor. We get some really, really interesting sounds and we play over some very odd and interesting chords in this video. Usually the modes of melodic minor are used to play over what people think of as jazz chords with kind of thick harmony and fancy extensions. So if that interests you, I think you're really going to like this. I'm going to jam a little bit with each mode over the chord that it works over. And you can use this video as a reference to come back to when you want to review what are the modes and, and what chords do they work over? Because it really takes a long time to get used to this kind of thing. I really took a long time to, to let it sink in and kind of worked on one mode and one chord type at a time or kind of looked it up again every time a new chord came up where I was like, I think I can use a melodic minor mode on that. So let's dive in and check out these modes. I'll quickly define scale modes, but if you want to go deeper on really getting a grasp on what modes mean and why they exist and how to work on them, then check out my playlist of lessons on modes. So if you take any scale, and you take any note from that scale that is not the root, and you just call that the root, and you treat that the root, you treat it as the home base, as the main note, that's all a mode is. That is exactly what a mode is. It's just a structure of a scale that you're just treating any individual note of the scale as the main home base, which gets a different flavor and gets a different sound. So the melodic minor scale has seven notes, so it has seven modes, including just what we think of as the melodic minor scale, that would be one of the modes. And then there would be the second mode, which is what if you treat the second note as home base, the third mode of melodic minor, what if you treat the third note of the scale as the main note, as the root, that is the third mode, etc. This is why learning just basic scales, which can be called parent scales, is so valuable, because once you get the physical kind of shapes down of them, it still takes some kind of mental uh, rewiring to think of modes if you want to use modes. It's not required that we learn modes, but if you want to use modes and you have the parent scale down, the main scale, um, at least the physical shapes, then you can start to think of treat different notes within those shapes as roots. So it's really helpful to just learn the primary kind of parent scales. That's why I have a free download called the Printable Parent Scales PDF pack. There's a link in the top of the description if you want to get that. It's just all the actual parent scales and then a bunch of other scales can be born out of those uh, via modes. So the first mode of melodic minor is just melodic minor and I would just get used to the shape at first. The chord that this works for would be the first chord that can be built from the melodic minor scale. And I also have a video that's a very short video that just maps out exactly what the chords are through melodic minor. The first chord of melodic minor, if you add a seven to it, is minor major seven. It's a minor chord with a major seven. Very uh, dissonant, mysterious kind of chord. So let's play over that a little bit. That's that chord. Cool sounds. Also, melodic minor scale works really great over a minor six chord. It's a minor triad with a major six in it. I have a video all about sixth chords and the theory of them. That's really cool if you want to learn about that. But let's listen to minor six with melodic minor over it. I'm not really worried about playing anything I love. I'm just kind of sitting with it and listening. I could do that all day, that's really enjoyable. Let's go on to mode number two. The second mode of melodic minor is called Dorian flat two. And a lot of modes and a lot of scales have different kinds of names, different ways of being, of describing them. So you'll you'll hear different names for the same scale um, all over the place. That's fine, because a lot of the names are just descriptive. Like this is a Dorian scale with a flat two. Dorian is the second mode of major. So if we know Dorian, we can just say, well, what if I add a flat two? to it. Well, in this case, we're just going to think of this physical shape of melodic minor, but play from two to two. So here's the second note of it, up an octave to the second note again, and we get to hear the flavor by doing that. Okay, let's hear it over the chord that it works over, which is pretty unusual. I don't really use this mode very much, but um, some people really use it. This would be um, the second 
chord of melodic minor, we could play a minor seven chord with a flat nine. Minor seven with a flat nine. Let's listen to it over that chord. Interesting, really interesting. Not one that I use very much, but but I like it. I like it. There's just uh, it's it's a pretty rare chord. It doesn't come up that often. The third mode of melodic minor can be called Lydian augmented or Lydian sharp five. So Lydian is the fourth mode of the major scale. So we start to see how important it is to maybe get a grasp on the major scale modes first if we want to really make sense of those names. Uh, but if we do know the physical shape of melodic minor, we can just play off of the third note and get the flavor of this mode. Lydian sharp five or Lydian augmented. Augmented means sharp five also. Uh, so the type of chord that this would be played over would be like the third chord of melodic minor, which is major seven sharp five. And this is also pretty rare that this chord comes up, but it is used in some kind of more modern jazz stuff um, and or just to play this and experiment around with playing over it can be really enjoyable. Let's go ahead and loop that and then play over it. Doing that root to root thing. Just to hear that and then play around with whatever. That's the third mode of melodic minor. The fourth mode of melodic minor is called Lydian dominant. A Lydian scale is a major scale with a sharp four. A dominant scale, also called mixolydian, is a major scale with a flat seven. Don't worry about remembering all this. I'm just saying it so you, you know, hear some of that language. Uh, really, you, once you learn the physical shape of melodic minor, you can just play off the four and get that sound. But this is this is meant to be for a dominant, to be played over a dominant seven chord with a sharp 11. So take F dominant seven with a sharp 11 or F dominant seven, the B natural added in. It's that sound, and if you play off of F here, but with that melodic minor scale structure, you get the sound that we're looking for. So this is one of the scales I played in my 23 scales that you can play over dominant seventh chords video. I'll put a link to that in the description. like this because there's just straight up a normal dominant seventh chord in there. You can just outline that with chord tones, which is always a great way to map things out. And then you can add the mode around it. So let's listen to it over this loop. Okay. sound. This one, this mode is very useful. I use this more than the others because dominant seven with a sharp 11 is a type of chord that comes up more often than those other examples so far. The fifth mode of melodic minor is mixolydian flat six. So this is just a mixolydian scale, which means a major scale with a flat seven, but it also has a flat six. So this is played over the uh, sixth, uh, the fifth chord of melodic minor, which is a dominant seventh chord. And if you add um, a flat 13 to it. If you add a 13 to it, it has a flat 13. And if you add a nine to it, it has a it has a natural nine. Don't even worry about all of those details. You can check out the other videos I mentioned to really kind of soak this in more and get go more deep with it. But this scale is useful for playing over a dominant seventh chord that has a flat 13, but a natural nine. Okay, let's hear how it sounds over that loop. Notice how it really has its own sound to it, especially when I target the chord tones and then play the mode around it. Okay, so that's G7 
or G9 flat 13 is what we were playing over there for the fifth mode of melodic minor, which is mixolydian flat six. Okay, the sixth mode of melodic minor can be called Locrian natural two. Don't let these names bog you down as long as you get the idea of, okay, it's melodic minor, but the sixth note is the root. Okay, so you can just think of that shape and go and just come back to the sixth note over and over, do the root to root, with that and the chord it's meant to be played over is a half diminished chord because the sixth chord of melodic minor is half diminished but specifically this adds a natural nine to it which is not the normal type of scale that is often played over half diminished so it's a half diminished chord with a natural nine on top and that's what this mode and this scale is used for I don't use this one that often, but it's a really cool sound. Locrian Natural 2. I heard Pat Metheny reference it in a workshop that I went to once where he was talking about harping on his bandmates uh, and stopping a recording and being like, hey, uh, I want you to add the natural 2 to that half diminished chord. You know, play play the natural 9 on that. <laughs> I was like, geez, that's, that's crazy. Like, it, obviously an artistic vision and also just amazing ears and you know, just knowing what he wants, but and also heavy theory stuff. Uh, so this is for playing over a half diminished chord with a natural nine on it. And that is what this scale is for. Let's give that a listen. I'll play this chord. It's half diminished, A half diminished with a natural nine on top, and we'll play that mode to it. Lastly, the seventh mode of melodic minor is the altered scale. This is probably the most widely used and, and widely referenced mode of the melodic minor scale. It's also called super locrian. I have two videos already about the altered scale that go super deep into how to work on it and uh, in depth. So check those out if you're interested. Uh, but we know already, okay, if we just know this melodic minor scale physical shape and we just play from the seventh note to the seventh note and treat that as the root, we are playing the seventh mode of melodic minor and we can play over altered dominant chords this way or you know a dominant chord that's either just says alt or sharp five or flat five or sharp nine or flat nine all of these kind of alterations or just play it over any dominant chord to add your own extra attention to it that's used uh, widely that way so let's go ahead and play this over a loop i'll play it over b7 with a sharp nine and a flat five so it's an altered b7 chord melodic minor shape that we've been playing the whole time. Just exploring around. That's the altered scale. I mentioned a bunch of other videos in this lesson related to melodic minor, the chords through melodic minor, the melodic minor uh, scale forms, uh, the altered scale videos um, and and the modes videos and stuff like that those will all be in the description so if you want to just really uh, go to school on that stuff that's all there for you as a resource if and when you have the time to check that out i also talked about outlining chord tones and this is one of the most foundational things to do in improvising and if you know the chord tones of each of those chords and then you can play the mode around it then we're really targeting the chord changes and i actually emphasize improvising with chord tones 90% of the time and then play around it with scales and modes and chromatic notes. Uh, but I really want to know the harmony by improvising with chord tones. That's why I have a free chord tone arpeggio pack that is just the chord tone shapes of 12 different chord types in five different positions each up and down uh, the fretboard. And those are the 12 chord types you need to improvise over any jazz progression with just chord tones uh, to get that stuff mapped out and really target the chord changes. So you can download that totally for free. There's a link in the top of the description to get that or you can go to soundguitarlessons.com slash chord tones if you're watching on youtube i'll throw a link on the screen here to check out the chords through the melodic minor scale video next so you can just click on that to 
go to that uh, next because I do recommend checking it out. I post a new lesson video every week on a wide variety of topics, all designed to help us gain more musicianship skills and express ourselves more freely. Next week, I'm going to do a lesson on how we can play almost any popular song with only two chord shapes. It's a pretty cool lesson. Hope to see you there. Thanks for watching. Take care and happy practicing.